Welcome back. My camera missed you guys. Maybe I missed you too a little bit. Maybe not. I guess we'll have to figure that out. Um, I've been out of service for two weeks. Today's like two weeks exactly. Um, I got home two Fridays ago. And the next day on, on Saturday, uh, my uh, belt came off. So I started messing with the van, trying to figure out what's going on. Um, put it back together and came off again. And then I knew something was wrong, so I tore the whole front end apart, figured out what I needed to replace. I had to replace two pulleys. Um, I had to replace some uh, tensioner, a tensioner pulley and a belt pulley. And then I replaced some rollers. Um, then I put the van back together. I didn't put two bolts in because it were tough to get in there. When I fired it up, I filled up my AC again. I filled, I, I fired it up, um, let it sit for a while, and then it started leaking oil. So I got mad. I didn't want to mess with it. Then a couple of days later, I tore it apart again. And I figured out that it was from the two holes where I, or two holes where I didn't put the two bolts that hold the fan, fan clutch bracket together. Um, and it bolts in right into the block. And I didn't think that those bolt, that the holes go all the way through to the engine and actually could have an impact on oil coming out of it. Anyways, long story short, it's back together. AC is running. Got all that filled. Got it all figured out. Um, so yeah, it took me like three days to wait for the parts to come in. Once the parts were in, um, I did put it together. And then it wasn't. Then it was leaking oil. Um, then I, you know, was mad. Didn't want to do anything with it. So that whole process took. The whole process took two weeks exactly for me to get it back up again. Um, half of it was my laziness. The other half was parts not being here and the third half was because you know it needed to go back together a certain exact way the fan clutch bracket and I kind of put it all back together at one, you know as one piece and I didn't have access to put in two bolts which I didn't think that they were going into the block so I mean they were going into the block but I didn't think that the threads you know that it was open holes in there when I pulled the bolts out, you couldn't tell that they were black on the tips. The oil was touching them. So, anyway, long story short, we're back in business, heading to pick up local load, picking up in FedEx and going to U.S. Postal Service. I've picked up at the FedEx location many times, but the Postal Service one, I have never delivered to that area. So, be new for me, be new for you guys as well. Happy Friday. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'll keep going in. If, you can just drop, if it's one, then that's fine. That's good. So, guys, it's, uh, I was supposed to have two pallets per my paperwork. Well, per my dispatch but it's only one so they're over there trying to figure out what's going on why it's only one i guess we'll find out one little tiny one that's all this is for now anyways we'll see that's it we're off to uh we're, we're almost on site for delivery anyways they finally said good to go with one pallet so me and my partner I'm in a team, such a such a struggling load here today. I didn't think I could make these, uh, you know, 10 mile delivery all by myself. So we got a partner. We got a, we got a, we had to go in a team on this one. <laughs> Anyways, we're almost on site. Um, hopefully, it should be quick. Never been here before, so I don't know how the process works, but we'll get it figured out, I guess. Signs, corporate service, employee and visitor entrance only, no trucks. Okay, no trucks. 
No trucks means no trucks. That's it folks, all empty and unloaded. It happened so fast that I didn't even have time to turn on the camera to do, do anything. Um, I pulled up to like door one, which is usually a ramp, but there was a, it's, it's a dock high area anyways. So I asked them, I call up a, a phone number on the door because they were all locked. They answered, told me to go to door one. I said, I'm already there. Uh, they ask me how much stuff I have. I tell them it's one pallet, but I tell them I'm not that high. They tell me, well, we'll open the door and take a look at what you got and figure it out then. So they open the door. We, you know, put one side of it up on the dock. The other side left it hanging. The guy came with a forklift, put his forks up front. We jumped in the van, pushed it, pulled it up, unloaded it by hand pretty much or whatever you want to call it. And that's it. All done and over with. And uh, inside I did a little bit of filming. You can't film over there, but I did a little bit for you guys anyways. So you can see what it looks like inside. So that video is going to be obviously before this, because this is the end. So I'm off to home. This, uh, this delivery is like five minutes away from home for me. So heading home, changing, going to church. We have prayer tonight. So be blessed. God bless you guys catch you on the next one if you haven't subscribed yet please do it'll help with the development of the channel take care